there, welcome to my channel. I spent my 21st birthday alone and it was actually pretty good. Basically my birthday is on May 28th, which is Memorial Day weekend. All my friends were out of town for the long weekend. So I basically was like, you know what, let's just do it alone. Like I'm gonna make this day a great day for me and that's it and it will be great. And here's some footage from that experience. So I woke up this morning and I have this weird rash and I'm like, really? I don't know what this is. And I'm like, of all the days, why does it have to be on my birthday? This is happening. Oh, I just got dressed. I'm wearing some cute comfy pants because I'm gonna be walking around a lot. I did my makeup. Still have this weird ass rash that I, I don't know what the fuck it is, but I'm ready to go. So now I'm in Dwayne Reed getting some ointment for this rash. Woohoo, party is on. In that Dwayne Reed, they were just playing that Camp Rock song that Nick Jonas sings. It's like, if you wanna know, if you go, please tell me. And I was like, what a random choice of song for a Dwayne Reed. So I started the day off by going to Soho to do a little bit of shopping. Um, I recently cleaned out my closet and got rid of a lot of really old stuff. I needed a few new things for summer, especially because I don't have any pairs of shorts. So I just got to Soho because I'm gonna do a little shopping. And first I gotta go to the Apple store because I lost my headphones. favorite stores, I went to some random new stores, I even went into this really expensive store and then immediately left because I was like, oh, that price tag is $300 and it's a t-shirt. I just walked into this store that was really cute, looked at the price tag for the first thing, saw that it was $300 and walked right out. Eventually, I got very hungry. I went to my favorite pizza place, which is Prince Street Pizza in Soho. They have the best pepperoni. So I finished shopping and I got a lot of good things that I needed for summer because I don't have any summer clothes. And now I'm going to lunch and I'm going to go to my favorite pizza place. I'm excited. As always, Prince Street Pizza was crowded. It was crazy. It took me about 30 minutes to just get one slice, but it was definitely worth it. So I sat down on the curb and I ate my pizza and drank my black cherry soda and it was delicious. I got my pizza and I got a black cherry soda and I'm excited for this one birthday. After that, I went to a cupcake shop that was nearby called Little Cupcake Big Shop, which is one of my favorites. Just picked up some cupcakes for Rosie because she's sleeping over tonight, a vegan one, and then I got myself a piece of cookie dough cake, as well as a s'mores bar because why not have two desserts? I know I did not end up eating both desserts that day because I was very full, but later the s'mores bar are out of this world. The cookie dough cake was good too, but the s'mores bar is just like up here. I love s'mores. Anyway, the next thing I did was I headed to my massage. I've been wanting to get a massage for a while. My back had been having problems and I had just had surgery so I'd been laying on the couch and like not really being active and not working out for about two and a half weeks. Now I'm heading to my massage. So I really wanted somebody to just get all those knots out of my back and they did and it was amazing. I just had my massage and I feel so refreshed and so relaxed and wow, I'm trying to put on my shoes finally and it's not working. Nobody wants to know where I went or who was my masseur. I just kicked the, the sofa. I want to know who I had as my masseuse. Hit me up as a really affordable price and super, super great. I feel so good. So the next thing I did was I went home, I showered, got changed, and then did my hair, but I did not do my makeup because of course I was getting a makeover. I'm a Rouge member at Sephora, which means basically that I just spend way too much money at Sephora, but it also means that you get some cool perks like getting free 45 minute makeovers whenever you want. So I was like, I'm gonna do that now for my birthday. So I went to get my makeover and it was super fun. Here's my after look in this awkward video of me smiling at the camera while I turn around in the sunlight. Then I headed out to dinner. I had asked on Instagram whether I should just get fast food because like eating at a restaurant alone, you know, has like a bunch of stigma and like 
maybe stigma is too strong of a word, but it can be awkward eating at a restaurant alone. So I asked, should I go get fast food or should I go to a restaurant? And people voted restaurant. So I was like, you know what, whatever, fuck it, it's my birthday. I'm gonna go to this restaurant. I went to this little cute like bar place that had been on my list of food places to try. And they had these mac and cheese sliders. The bun was made out of fried patties of mac and cheese. It was so good. I was in heaven. It was the perfect thing and fries and then I had my Diet Coke and my one true love. I'm at this restaurant and my waiter is so grounded and he's like Scottish and I'm in love. His ass made me die. And I'm I'm basically convinced that we're engaged, but whatever. And after that, I went to the show, which was Once on this Island on Broadway. And Once on this Island, if you don't know me, is one of my favorite shows ever. I've been in it twice, which is problematic, I know. But you know, this is community theater. And I've choreographed it once, but I just love the music. I love the story. I think it's such a beautiful show and the way it's presented is just lovely. My parents bought me a really nice ticket, um, second row, and it was everything I wanted it to be. It was so beautiful. Actors were incredible. The design was great. The way they interpreted everything was just perfect. And I loved I, uh, I can't stop talking about the design. I mean, there was a literal like pool of water. I'm shook, but it was beautiful. I loved every moment of it. Yeah, oh, I died. So after the show, I went to the stage door, of course. And they were all so sweet and they were all so lovely. I was exiting the theater and it was revolving doors as it is at Circle in the Square. And unknowingly, this woman got into like my quarter of the revolving door with me. And she had this big bag, so her bag got cut in the door when I started to push. And I look around, and I'm like, oh my god. And she's like, wait. Adjust her bag, and then she's like, okay, now go. Hello, everyone. Actually, it's going to happen when people think she's supposed to have a edge. Okay, I'll be safe, MTA. But anyway, and I'm like, why did you get into my quarter of the, the circle? Because this is a single person <laughs> revolving, this is a single person revolving door, okay? You're not supposed to, it's not one of those big ones at like the airport. Like it's just for one person and that one person is me. So why are you in my section? It was so weird and I was so mad, but whatever. It's been a good day so far. And now I'm going home to meet Rosie, the sleepover. I had Rosie come over, who Rosie's one of my good friends here at school. We ate our desserts and we talked and we caught up because it had been our first time seeing each other in three weeks since the end of the semester. And then we watched Stick It, which is such a good movie and Rosie had never seen it, which made me gasp. It's a classic, if you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. And then we eventually went to bed. And that was that. That was my birthday. Spent my 21st birthday mostly alone, except until 11 p.m. 23 hours of my birthday, if we want to be exact. I vlogged about a fun day in my life, a day in my life that could have been really sad, but I chose to make it good and I chose to have fun and it ended up being one of my best birthdays because I don't have a good history of having great birthdays. So yeah, let me know if you liked this, if you like me talking, if you like me vlogging, if you hate this. Yeah, <laughs> that's about it.